Well, he is a platypus. They don't do much. They're the only mammals to lay eggs. Either on the sunscreen, listeners, because tomorrow's weather calls for another scorcher. With a slight chance of scattered lawn gnomes. <laughs> Enjoy a while it lasts, Candace. Fame is fleeting. But the internet is forever. <sighs> Good night, Candace. Same thing tomorrow? Nah, I like to keep moving forward. Sharks have to continue to move forward, or they'll drown. You calling me a shark? <laughs> for Herb? Well, he was all up in my face. <gasps> Did you like your birthday present? <laughs> well, it was definitely better than the gorilla in the cake. Just remember, Gaston said I'll always be his coup de crayon. You do realize that that's French for pencil neck. I reckon herding cattle ain't for city folk. We're making Swinter. Swinter? It's a unique and logic-defying amalgam of winter and summer. Hey, everybody! Over here! How do you get down there? And perhaps Buford truly is amazing. You know, mummies have their brains pulled out through their nose. Did you find the time to build all this, Ferb? Actually, I... You really thought of everything, Ferb. Actually... Hold that thought. Okay, seriously. When did you make all this? Look, for the last time, I didn't... Tell her, Ferb. Actually, Wait I... Wait a second. Why are you two soaking wet? Ah, I give up. Snap out of it. What happened back there? I was weak. How does everyone like my new suit? Excellent Fantastic Taylor. suit. Have you lost oh, weight? Oh, you look really good. Really good. Um, that man isn't wearing any clothes. Now, who would buy a brick for a toy? It does absolutely nothing. And Turbo Furbo, put it there. 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 <laughs> Still a man of few words, I see. Well, actually. So, I... where's your sister? Why on earth are you all covered in mud? Because she's a tire spinning, gear grinding, clutch burning, backfiring, paint trading, red lining, overheating, throttle stomping, truck driving girl. Glad you like the card, Mom. It's a simple postmodern fusion of origami and pop up. Yeah, we're inside Candace's stomach. That's creepy on so many levels. She's on a date with Jeremy. That means we're on a date with Jeremy. Again, creepy on so many levels. This could be a problem. Hmm, it just occurred to me that I may have misspelled time machine on the plans. Well, I hope that's not going to be an issue. Apparently not. May we take that as a yes? Well, don't just stand there. Kiss her! Well, Mom, you know what they say. Fun never falls too far from the treehouse. Well, for me, old matey, our first time out as pirates and we come home with a bounty of beards. And perhaps the greatest pirate story ever told. It's okay, Ferb. She's gone. You can look now. No. Not taking any chances. Hey, look. There's Perry. Still not looking. And Ferb says... You know gladiators were Roman, not Greek. And Ferb says... And that is why I will never wear suspenders in public. Nice. Candace around? Good catch, Jeremy. Oh, there you are, Perry. Where am I? And with handsome movie actor Vance Ward. He seems much faster on TV. They say if you love something, let it go. Especially if it's a caveman. I can't believe how fast we put this together. Yes, it usually takes us at least a montage. Anything interesting happen around here? I hear there's a new version of Jane Eyre in the offing. What did I miss? Wow! Well, let's see him! Wait for it. Don't bring that smack talk around here. This is my house. Technically, it's our garage. She's on a roll. Thanks again. Woo-hoo. GF Games Rock. That was completely out of character. When I'm 88, you will be so busted. Actually, you'll be 88 and a half. I still don't know how we ended up at Little Duffer's. I don't know why we didn't build it here in the first place. You guys are so busted. I'm telling Mom. You might consider bathing first. I may seem like a barmy old git now, but when I wasn't so long in the tooth, I had some grand larks and engaged in a fair amount of daring do. Translate? When he was younger, he did a bunch of stuff. What else did you do today? Well, these two royster doisters wheeled out me old iron, built a cracking match for McGregor's Gorge, and helped this daft old git have one last knees up. I have absolutely no idea. That was a great day, Ferb. What did you think the scariest thing was? Definitely the giant floating baby head. Ferb? 
Platypus monsters are the only monsters to lay eggs. There's no higher place of honor than the fridge. Especially a giant fridge. Of course they're booing and hissing. You're the villain, right, Ferb? A hero is a hero, but everybody loves a great villain. You know, in retrospect, I question the inclusion of a self-destruct button in the first place. Can't you guys just find some old nuts and bolts lying around and Jerry rig up some kind of machiny dealy bob and get us out of this situation? Candace, we are just kids. Ooh, I almost forgot. Perry was in the dream too. He was like a super secret agent or something. Perhaps that's where he disappears to every day. I just can't believe you guys built a portal to Mars and didn't go through it yourselves. Oh, we did. But that's another story. Can you tell them that I just want a little time to myself? Met by the one in off his hip. You have a nudge? They say fine, but not without them. Ah! Uh, did we find the Lake Nose Monster? No. It found us. Well, if such a creature did exist, I believe its habitat and safety would be all of our responsibility to look after and protect. The watermelon shrank? Well, either that or everything else in the universe just got bigger. Well, you know what they say. If you love something, set it free. Yeah, we do that every day with Perry. It's as fun to eat as the crazy fun things you can do with it. The cartilaginous fibers from the bovine patella structure that gelatin's extracted from gives it that fun, bouncy quality. Looks like Candace and Stacy did some shopping. I'll never understand fashion. Well, we were all watching it, and quantum theory states that the mere observation of an experiment changes its outcome. I haven't eaten a badger in a week. Ah, uh, the public is fickle. It was just a bird? That's not just any bird. That's a rare whale song singing double breasted angle hooper. <laughs> the natural enemy of the platypus in the wild. Oh no! Jeremy's here! How am I going to get ready in three seconds? Apparently, do what we did. He's pulling us in! Maybe it's the space authorities. Did we do something wrong? Well, it occurs to me that perhaps not all of the modifications I made are technically street legal. He said it's that small cloud. That's no cloud. That's a space station. I've got a good feeling about this. Gummy. Please. Candace, we don't do this to compete. We do it for fun. And for the ladies. We don't, however, have a licorice dispenser. That was a nice touch. Yeah, that rocks. All right, Ferb, let's go through our pre-flight checklist. Pilot's instruments, check. Co-pilot's instruments, check. Hey, look, our game show set instantaneously miniaturized itself. Well, I suppose we could call that the home version. We'll build the best dang car wash in the whole dang world. Dang it. I I can't really pull that off, can I? You're not very street. Yeah. Oh, no! Now how are we supposed to save the star no small? I think he can take care of himself. <laughs> Giving a monkey a shower? Yep. Had to be done. Irving suggested hide-and-seek. Isn't the house a little small to play a good game of hide-and-seek? Perhaps the problem is not that the house is too small, but that we're too big. My, she's Yar. Is she ready to sail? She's ship-shaped in Bristol fashion. What does that mean? What does Yar mean? Ferb, honey, aren't you a little old to be playing in the ball pit? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, then. Your name is Ferb? Well, yes, it's short for... Oh, here it is. This is an actual living creature that uses carrots for food instead of science experiments. So why is he wearing a tutu? He likes it! What do you say, Ferb? It'll give you a chance to do your seaweed wrap. You know. Yeah. Okay. So I'm never gonna give up. Never, never, never! Did I say never? Yes, I did! Never, never, never! 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 Well, at least we know she mellows with age. Well, looks like we don't have to go to the future after all. Some other time, perhaps. Hey, where's Perry? He's doing a special appearance on a music video clip show. Hmm. Well, good for him. That was Candace driving. Her car control has gotten a lot better. <clears throat> so, how about that airline food? <laughs> Lodge, huh? Come on, you're taking me down there. Now! Hey, where's Perry? Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Yes, on the alligator. Hey, you guys wanna hit Slushy Dog before we go home? Ew. Nah. Oh, heavens no. Slushy Dogs never get any better. You, please let go. You, let go. Give this is exactly why they took that doll off the market. Oh, well, why don't you just build a new skateboard? Yeah, I don't think so.
If it's all the same with you, Father, we're going to build the machine. Well, it looks like my work here is done. I wonder what would make someone want to build something to destroy romance in the first place. Well, if you reverse engineer the human heart, you're bound to find love at its core. And gross, smushy red stuff. Yes, love and gross, smushy red stuff. And ventricles! Actually, I think ventricles is already included in gross, squishy red stuff. What happened? Did anybody see it? Why did it go back down? Perhaps the lost city of Atlantis wanted to stay lost. Ferb, what did you wish for? Take a look at this morning's paper. World peace? No, no, this one down here. Local boy gets harmonica. Hey, great picture! They say the step you're about to take is the beginning of your greatest adventure yet. Little corny there, bro. Just teeing up the song. Oh, yeah! Bubble bath, bubble bath, bubble bath, bubble bath. Hop to the finish and don't look back. Niagara Falls? Know anything about that, Fernmeister? It's over 167 feet high. It's also tremendously popular with daredevils. So, Ferb, you don't talk much, do you? Actually, oh, I... Oh, what's that over there? Missed you, Belgeet. Right back at you, buddy. And thus, the universe is balanced. Get out! And then? Once they've replaced more than 51% of all the humans, they can assume control of the Earth for their own nefarious purposes. Shut up! And? Oh, I wish you were there, for. So do I. Tell Uncle Angus and Aunt Morag thanks for the candy. Too late! Scotland out! Peace! Space adventure! An adventure in... Know what, Ferb? We're over it. Yes. Yes, we are. Maybe we should just give up. Give up? Give up? The day may come when we'll give up on fruitless searches after a mere 11 minutes, but that day is not today. The day may come when our favorite reptile may be lost from our memories and his enduring love of mushrooms forgotten, but that day is not today. Today we search. We will search for him in the streets. We will search for him in the trenches. We will search for him in the alleys and the mini malls and the cul-de-sacs of this fair land. We'll search for him in the multi-level car parks and municipal recreational facilities. And we few, we happy few, we small band of brothers and girl from across the street, we shall not cease till he is found! Cowgirls and cowpokes. Wait a minute! Welcome What's going on out there? Candice, you better not be... <gasps> All right, cowboys and cowgirls, it's time to get along, little doggy. Or even a short little doggy. I'm here all week. Try the veal. You were very brave. Thanks. You were too. Um, hello. Entire lower half of Amazing Superhero here. I guess there's no glory in thighs. Yep. It took a whole lot of toil, pain, sweat, and hard work to build this town. We should be proud. Let's never do that again. Agreed. Come on, let's go inside the house for a snack. So what did you two do today? Just normal mediocre kid stuff. Sounds great. Wow, I always wanted a vacation this close to a volcanic hotspot. Do you smell what I smell, Ferb? Mm-mm. Magma. How are we gonna round up the A-primes? Hello? Room service? Say, aren't you dudes a little young to be riding this kind of surf? No worries, bro. We're just gonna hot dog this honker past the boneyard to the sand. You got that off the internet, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I did. Hey, Aiken? Yeah, I hired a stunt singer. What do you think? Konnichiwa. Stechi no tomodachi desu. Vanessa? No matter where we go, Ferb knows everyone. Sounds like you're flooding I'm not flooding it. I know he's my dad, and I shouldn't blame him for being busy. It's just that he always seems to put his work ahead of me. I just don't know what to do. Well, sometimes if you love somebody, you have to meet them halfway. Ferb, where's Vanessa? She went off with someone else. That's too bad. I thought the two of you, you know, a boy, a girl, alone in the city of love, mm. I thought romance was a foregone conclusion. <laughs> Well, you got on this plane, you know, back when it was a plane. Which means you believed in us. And we believe in you. May the luck of Slough Farm be with you. Always. Well, it's just really clear that you two are going to have an amazing career in special effects ahead of you. And if that's what you want, give me a call in ten years. I'll hire the both of you in a heartbeat. Actually, what I'd love to do is direct. Oh, you and me both. Well, this is fun. It's a little girly for us, isn't it? Well, it is Candace's dream. Did you say fun? Often the most fun can be found in your own backyard. Verb? You don't even need to say it. Phineas, I know what we're going to do today. Yes, yes you do. Somebody ought to build a vehicle that actually goes over all terrains. Two, three, four. Verb, I know what we're going to do today. Five, six, seven. Hey, where's Perry? You know, technically we didn't try all terrain. 
Hey, Phineas, how are we going to know when to stop building? I guess we'll just know when we get there. We're there. And this is the... Oh, that's right, we sublet this floor. That was a mistake. If the molecular splitter doesn't just disappear when this is over, we should really consider destroying it. Agreed. What are we looking at? I have no idea. Say fromage. Fromage! Point sheet! Wins! Farb, did you let me win to save my fragile, nerdy ego? Oh, I'd never do that. We'll do all the same things, except we'll break in a spontaneous singing and choreography with no discernible music source. Hmm. What assurance would we have that everyone else would also break into song and do the same thing? I don't know. I think they probably will. Fair enough. I'm in. It's Latin for seize the day. Or you could say seize the day was English, carpe diem. Yes, yes you could. Wow, Candace really seems to be enjoying herself today. And she seems to have acquired an upper-class Drusel Stinian speech pattern. Yeah, let's just go with it. Hey! When we get our own place, it'll be like this every day. The entire party has disappeared! Of course! The same divine intervention that takes things away for you guys took the party away from me! I'm safe! I wonder where the party went. Someplace nice, I hope. Oh, there you are, Perry. You missed Candace's party. Totally. A platypus would have put it over the edge. Behold Mount Furbius! Sorry, Addison. The salamanders are back. Yes. I was wondering if maybe after this, you'd like to go to the premiere of the new Stumbleberry Thinkbat movie. Huh? Oh, sure. Sounds cool. I'd like to go to that. Uh, what are we waiting for? I believe we're waiting for Rover to put the molecular separator down. Hey! Drop it, boy. Oh. My. Gosh. Hey! Does this mean we can all go now? Yes. Yes, it does. Well, I went out to the barn, I built a balloon, and I won the most famous balloon race in history. Wow. He makes history come alive. Check it out. A dodo bird. What's next on the list, Ferb? Frankenstein's brain. Yeah, uh, that was in my balloon. Huh, so how do you think our cows will do on the moon? Well, photosynthesis will start creating oxygen, and then eventually an atmosphere. Our bovine friends will be fine. So when Mom looked in the mirror on that thing I built, she saw what you had done? That's right. And by the way, nice use of the accordion arm. So, where's this fun house? Candace cleaned the whole thing up before you could see it. You cleaned the whole thing up before I could see it? Yes. Well, that seems unlikely. Yes. Yes, it does. This is going to be the most interesting thing we've ever built. And the tallest. Yes, and the tallest. And the heaviest. Well, we're chatty today, aren't we? Well, you were right, Ferb. The most interesting thing we ever built was very tall and very heavy. And that guy from the museum seemed very appreciative. I still can't believe it fit in his truck. Does anyone else want to be king of the world? Ah, uh, keep it, bro. It suits you. Why? Your hair looks simplicious. Have you tried tossing your head back? Buford's pulling us down. How is that possible? He weighs no more down there than he did up here. It's probably best not to question. <sighs> it's good to be back. Yes. Yes, it is. I guess we'll never be able to wish him a happy birthday. Well, never say never. Happy birthday. They did remember. Such nice boys. Of course, Ferb and I knew exactly what to call you. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. So not only have you been leading a double life this whole time, but you sat there and let us help an evil scientist open an evil portal into an evil dimension. And you did nothing to stop us? Well, he did pee on the couch. You know, I used to think you couldn't spell platypus without us. Well, you can, but it would just be platyp. I'll be honest, Ferb. I'm having a hard time putting a positive spin on this. Blah, 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 two-car garage, etc., etc. Yeah, well, welcome to my life. Whoa, deja vu-ish. So our choice is to either forget the best day ever, forget the biggest adventure we've ever had, and forget meeting Agent P, or remember today, but never see Perry again? Well, we've had a lot of great days, but we only have one Perry. Finish line, here I am! Time to change the batteries on the Tiger Excluder. Wow, twice in one day! Skiddly Whiffers is a cruel mistress, cold and unforgiving. Herb, you came to play! As long as my team will have me, curse and all. Of course we will! It's not about winning, it's about the joy of the game! Actually, it's about winning. What happened? I guess the curse wasn't broken. No, it's broken. Sometimes you just miss. Oi, Cousin Ferb, we're dreadfully sorry for giving you such a hard time. 
You're a brilliant footballer, an all-around good chap, and a Brit through and through. Actually, lads, I'm not a Brit or a Yank. I'm just Ferb. <laughs> I think that's Dad. What was the topic of his lecture again? Wait a minute. If you're a ghost and you have a pumpkin head, what did that make you when you were alive? The probability of a humanoid vegetable hybrid is exceedingly remote. Well, I can lift heavy objects and I can levitate and, and I can't see my reflection in the mirror. It sounds like a vampire to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, Ferb. Come here. Plus, there was that small matter of circumnavigating the globe. Oh, the entire galaxy. That enough elbow room for you? Well, for today. What's Perry doing in a pillory? Actually, those are stocks. A pillory forces the wearer to remain upright, exposing him to poking and prodding from passers-by. Goodbye, Dad. Have fun buying from auctions and private sales, performing minor refurbishments to the purchased items, marking up the price and then selling them to your customers. Our dad sells antiques. Everyone's come together for the holidays, but Perry's still not here. He knows it's not really Christmas, right? Every family Christmas special needs a little forced drama. I guess we should wait until tomorrow before we tell them about our new language. Yes. Yes, we should. What's he doing? That's a ripple dissolve. He must be having a flashback. Does he know we can't see it? Well, that took longer than expected. But it is a great wall. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm down with that. Do Behold, evil wizard Maleficent. I hold the sword Excalifer. This mystical vorpal blade was given to me by the Lady of the Puddle. Get a good look at it. For it is the instrument of your demise. Well, okay, so big deal. The end's come off. By the way, does anyone else find it weird that we were saved by an anthropomorphic platypus? The world holds many mysteries, but what seems strange to one may be commonplace to another. The Fez was weird, though. I mean, we're not in Egypt. What's that? It is all of Candace's anxieties. There are so many of them. She has a rich internal life. Yeah, she's really messed up. Do you think the ants will return someday? Yes, probably while we're having a picnic. Hey, where'd it go? Now you know how I feel. Well, wherever it landed, I hope they can handle a party of that magnitude. Who wants pizza? Me! I do! Then maybe ice cream sandwiches. Ice cream cut in the shape of a sandwich. Just pie for me, please. Wow, Ferb. Incredible hang time. Personal anti-gravity device. I guess we should install that reverse button now. We wouldn't want you bouncing off the ceiling during brunch. That would be a little rough on the old frittata. Jupiter, go! Ice chalet! If we hadn't been able to invent something soon, I was going to scream. Do you ever notice that in a certain light, Buford looks handsome? It's a blessing and a curse. We should cast our net a little wider than Danville. Bingo. It looks like there are some in Druselstein. Druselstein is a rustic Eastern European country whose primary export is dunkleberries. What will we know when we get to Seattle? We're here. Just use the pen you left here yesterday. Ferb and I modified it so you won't lose it again. Ha! What'd you guys do? Install a homing sensor? Actually, we just put a clip on it. Ferb, did you order a bear? <laughs> oh man, that would have been so funny without the snorkel. And of course, Mom's lucky Viking helmet. Why does she have one of those? Women are a mystery. Who came up with cards anyway? They were invented by ancient Babylonian traders and merchants. Actually, the Babylonians had been defunct as a distinct culture for a millennium prior to the introduction of playing cards in India. How did you get in here? We tunneled up through the base while you were busy with our jetpack decoys. I do not understand. Well, remember when we all made those life-size stuffed models of ourselves this morning? No. It pays to show up on time. Well, who's up for Sprummer? I mean, hello, let us not forget that I wrestled a ferocious alligator. The scrappy little crocodile is nothing for a pro like me. In that right? Oh, looks like little Crikey grew up. Ah! And Ferb, where did you learn to serve like that? at the Yorkshire Athletic School for In Your Face. But how did you make the whole show disappear? A magician never reveals his secrets. <laughs> Perhaps next time we should buy new. I think we need to try something a little more... Foul? Yeah, no, exotic. What's over there? Uh, scrap metal, power tools, and spare parts left over from building the station. You had me at scrap. You had me at scrap. This everyone is the Uncharted Gorge. They call it... Hi, Julikani Wadi. That's beautiful. What's it mean? Uncharted Gorge. Wow, they really nailed that name. And stop looking for Perry. Are you kidding? He's our pet. He's more than our pet. He's our friend. And I know he's out there. We 
Bear in Africa. Yeah. Pretty much sums it up. Well, has he been wrong before? I admit, I have never really studied the platypus, but I am absolutely shocked that this one somehow followed you all the way to Africa. It seems impossible. Well, ever since George Shaw wrote the first description of the platypus for highly skeptical European scientists in 1798, this unique creature has become synonymous with the word impossible. Okay, give it a chance. We want your honest opinion. We know it's a little weird. Don't worry, it'll be all right. Hey, look, everyone. Ferb and Perry are back. Hey, Ferb. What you doing back from debate camp so soon? We finished earlier than expected. Just in time for acorn nut muffins made out of the training nuts from yesterday. Training nuts? Okay, what did I miss? I'm heading down to the fabric store right now. Brocade, taffeta, saddle stitch. Actually, I didn't find it all that exciting. Yeah, me either. Never getting that day back. Ooh, stinkaroo. All right, what is this? Table tennis. Ping pong the lame. If we're going to be the entertainment, then we'd better kick it up a notch. Hockey Z9? Hockey Z9. Is this your doing, bro? Old Lang Syne literally means old long ago. But I'd rather think of New Year's as an unspoiled universe. I don't get why this stuff is called so bay. Ain't it just a fancy people word for ice cream? Where ice cream is made from dairy products and turned vigorously with air, sorbet is made entirely out of fancy people. Really? No, not really. Hey, I know what we're gonna do today, Ferb. Hey, where's Perry? <laughs> That's strange. I know. We normally do this later in the day. Yes. Yes, we do. Hey, where is Dad anyway? Hmm. Well, last we saw him, he was working on the muffler. Out of my way, Louis boy! Phineas, I thought you were stampeded! We were. It didn't hurt. They were big, but they were still fluffy. It's like being run over by cotton candy, but less sticky. Good morning, Perry. Oh, there you are, Perry. Ah, uh, Platypus's life is a life of leisure. Yes, yes it is. You are missing the point! I do not know that if I chose strawberry, I would get hit by a bus. I am just saying that every decision we make has unforeseen repercussions. Actually, ice cream sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does. Something's going on over there. The ball sheets seem to be gathering. Well, I don't like the looks of that. Gatherings have the habit of turning into mobs. And mobs rarely make good decisions. It appears as though we've been transported into some sort of intergalactic hooskow. Anyway, fellas, I'm gonna hit the road. See ya. Well, he's no platypus, but still a lovely fellow. Sorry, Buford. I promised Isabella and the Fireside Girls that we'd wait for them. Oh, I promised Isabella. <laughs> is that how I sound? He really nailed you. It is uncanny. Please, Phineas, there's nothing about zombies that I don't know. Did you know there's one standing behind you? Very funny. <laughs> Good one, bro. And Ferb and I will do this and this and this, and we'll join you inside. Shall we? Absolutely. Let's go, bro. That's a solution to the Gordian knot that even Alexander the Great wouldn't have come up with. You'd build the thing out of pressed twigs and lawn clippings. Nature's little recyclers at work. Some tea with honey would help that through. And there's crumpets in the conservatory as well. He's so British. Well, I guess perhaps the universe wants some things left unphotographed, like chupacabras or group photos where everyone has their eyes open. Well, to make it up to you, it's kind of lame, but maybe Ferb and I could, I don't know, take you out for some ice cream or something? Uh... I just remembered there's something I need to do. You two go. Presenting the Pyrotechnic Holographic Light and Audio Simulator and Electromagnetic Radio Scope. Or Flazer, for short. Are you telling me that we have never made an obstacle course this entire summer? Ferb? I'm filled with remorse that we haven't, of course, even thought of building an obstacle course. Then let's build one and make it our new tour de force. That is a plan I can clearly endorse. Of course! Of course! Of course! Of course! I'm putting an end to this before it breaks into song. Ferb, are you expecting someone? Not them. Oh, well, the rustic exterior is a facade. Wait till you see the inside. Oh, man. You guys are good. Just a little British sci-fi technology. Let's get our hero on. Just a minute, Candace. We all set? All set. Just Great, as soon set. as I lock down the power assignment from reverse planet. Candace, what did you do? Uh-oh. Come on, man. Looks like you're functioning at full capacity. Yep. Why don't you kids take five? Enjoy the show. Oh, this is going to be sweet. Yeah, it is. That's strange. I was convinced that he was an anthropomorphic platypus. Huh, what with the beaver tail and all? Well, that can't be good. Guess they knew a T-Rex's weakness is also its Achilles heel. 
This is supposed to be for cleaning boats, but sometimes you gotta wash with the wrong brush to get a colt to the chaparral. Wash? Brush? Chaparral? That's it. Well, maybe we could make our own fire hydrants out of soft foam rubber. Hey, that's a great idea. Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today. Seriously, that's it. A soft fire plug. Well, yeah, attached to a giant revolving treadmill with a giant soft neighborhood containing soft obstacles. Oh, yeah, okay. Huh, flower. I'm drawing a blank. Daffodil, third date. Right. Isabella, you've been awfully quiet all day. I have just earned my 24 hours of silence patch. I can see why you don't talk much, Ferb. I actually quite enjoyed it. I ended up having an inner dialogue with myself all day. Welcome to Furbland. Yes, but the universe is constantly expanding. Then what is it expanding into? Ooh. Okay, now my mind is blown. What have we got so far? I've got a bottle cap and a brass nail. Flying machines, household electrification, steam-powered submarines. Personally, I'm looking forward to cheese that comes in aerosol cans. Hey, Isabella, you're just in time to help us build a zipline tennis game across town for the ultimate game of sky tennis. Or skennis, for short. Huh, that's odd. Glad I always carry a spare. Whoa, good thing you're wearing your steel tip sneakers. Actually, today I'm not. Ouch. Oh, there you are, Perry. Safe at home. Summer will be gone forever. What? I'm expressing how I feel through music. I sure hope this cold weather isn't affecting Mum and Dad's cave adventures. Ta-da! I don't know. There's something weird about those two. What do you mean, Candace? Rabbit owners come in all shapes and sizes. A flight helmet and cowboy boots? I think the tall one was wearing a wig. And the other one had a false mustache. I'm afraid your plans will have to wait until after Ferb's dental appointment. Come on, honey. Time to go. All right. Well, I've never seen Ferb so nervous. All right, girls, Union Jack is back. Operation Perfect Picnic is now Operation Ginormous Non-Romantic Overblown Picnic. I'll flabba him, I blefer preble. It's all right, big guy. You guys just do what you do. No! I object! The song does not belong in the fact-based song category. Klimpaloon is not real! What? what? Isn't anyone gonna talk about how we got here so fast? Sorry, Buford. We don't have the time for that right now. Ferb? Two words. Travel montage. I got two words for you. Cliche. Okay, Ferb, where to next? That's it. We lost the auction for volume two. We got sniped. We have to do something. How about this? I don't want him to go. I want him to stay with us. Klimpaloon doesn't belong to us. He belongs to the ages. I said that back in the Himalayas. Does no one listen to me? Oh, look at this. It's like a spoon and a fork together. What would you even call that? In the UK, they call that a foon. They do not. Wow, artsy. Yeah, we're really getting into it. Who knew that making an art piece out of old takeout stuff would be so fun? It is almost like Tadashi Kawamata's massive chair sculpture in Abu Dhabi. Or the sublyric pile Killabuster with onion on marble in Salzburg, Austria. Really? Actually, I think he just made that one up. Well, I guess we'll never know what was in that letter. No, I guess not. And neither will your little crumb cake. Wait, I bet it belongs to that R2 unit that we sent to Ben Kenobi's house. I wonder if he's still there. No, he's on his way to Mos Eisley. Oh, wow. Can you sense that with the Force? No, I can see them. They're right over there. We're coming out of hyperspace. Buckle up, ladies! What do you think, Ferb? A girl like her and a guy like me? Sure, why not? What is it, Ferb? What's with the hand? I feel something. A presence I have not felt since... Perry! Hey, old buddy! <laughs> What's wrong, Ferb? You got your hand up again. Perry is in trouble. Oh no, let's go help him. No, you must get that disc to the rebels. We cannot risk our mission. So is there a face painting booth around here or something? And where's Perry? Were you able to find him? I found this, the Sithinator. And I've modified it so I can create an army of Sith warriors. Join me on the dark side, brother. <laughs> Shut up, Ferb. Come on, let's get out of here. Isabel already left. We gotta find a ship so we can get home. Dark side is my home now. Whoa, Ferb, what are you doing? Come on, quit messing around. Hey, this isn't funny. I'm not gonna fight you. If you will not join me... Then I must destroy you. Now 
you will join me. Step away from the rubble! How do they get the toothpaste into the tube? Sometimes if you're lost, it's best to just go along for the ride. Well, it's a day full of questions. First the toothpaste, and now this. And of course, where's Perry? Yeah, see what I mean? We're up to our armpits in Enigmas. Luckily, Ferb has been working on a special Z-Ray machine that can see through any substance on the periodic table. It's highly experimental, so you might want to encase yourself in this lead body armor. Well, we can't see into the capsule, but your second molar has a cavity. And it looks like Mrs. Garcia Shapiro is making crap lock tortillas. Whoa! That was weird. Was that us? Couldn't be. That Phineas had four white stripes on his shirt, and you only have three. Watch out, boys! Venus Whoa. is rising fast! She went intravenous right between us. Stay back! You're infected! You, Bert, put me down. I, I, I am okay! Hey, Why are you okay? I do not know! Perhaps our rubberized skin might be acting as an insulator. Ugh, it's locked. Guess what? Any ideas? Verb? I'm petrified beyond all capacity for rational thought. We're not gonna make it! No, you and Isabella will make it. Verb, no! Verb! <laughs> what happened? I remember building the vortex sprayer, but after that, I've got no clue. Me neither, but whatever happened, it worked. Yes, everyone seems to be noticeably lab coat free. Cool! Any pet can fetch a stick. Oh, it's so good to have a cyborg that can actually speak. Well, I usually only say one line per day. One line? Really? Why? Seriously, that was it? Ah, weird kid. Look, it's the fur borg. Get behind me, Phineas. I'll hold him off as long as I can. Please, Candace. You're being dramatic. Ugh. I'm running out of time, Ferb. I gotta choose a school. Do I say local or go abroad? Trade school? Art school? Come on, Ferb. Help me make a decision. Get in the booth. Okay. Cubestad Academy. Uh, which one was that again? Uh, great Physics Department. No way. So, Ferb, you're off to school in England? Yeah, he's going to Camford on Oxbury. <laughs> Camford on Oxbury. It sounds like a wizard school. It's not a wizard school. Well, there is some wizarding. And when we get them to come back here and see it and each other, they're bound to fall madly in love like they were always meant to be. <laughs> you know, you can't force these things. Oh, come on. We're girls. It's what we do. So, try state state, huh? Good choice. Hey, Ferbs, you ready? Hi, Phineas. Hi, Nessa. Where are you guys going? Oh, Ferbs taking me out for Ukrainian food. Can we drop you anywhere? I never knew she had a thing for him. Seriously? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Everyone knew. Looks pretty mega to me. Yeah, it's pretty mega. But is it really grand finale material worthy of these two guys? I just made it weird, didn't I? No, not at all. Hugs are a healthy expression of affection between friends. Okay, now you just made it weird. Guys, guys, I really need your help. There's this really weird thing that's happening. Gays keep repeating because of a machine thingy that Vanessa's dad made, and there's this wagon, and now things are disappearing, like tigers and spoons and... What's a spoon? What's a tiger? Aren't you glad we have something to eat? You're right, you're right. We gotta figure out a way out of here. <laughs> I hope whatever that is likes oranges. Or at least orange-related puns. Huh, groundhogs. I hope that doesn't mean six more weeks of Nullville.